Hey, what's cracking, everybody? On today's video, I'm going to take a look at Agarim OS. And Agarim OS is created using Void MK Live. So this is a uh, Void-based system. So uh, I think this is one of those uh, non-SystemD uh, type of systems. Uh, and it says right here, it includes a minimum set of applications all included in the official repositories so you can build your system on your own. There are two users, Anon and Root. In both cases, the password is Void Linux. And this is very important right here. Installation. Type sudo void installer in a terminal. So to get it installed, you have to type sudo void installer in a terminal. All right. And there's some other information, but uh, I didn't see an, uh, an official uh, website. It does have a link tree right here, but that's not an official website. And let's see the files. I downloaded in this case the uh, Mate version, which was released on uh, October 30th. All right, so I got it up in a virtual machine. Let's head on over there, take a look at it, get it installed, and see what Agarim OS has to offer. And I am using the Mate version. Okay, so here on the uh, virtual machine, I have to open up a terminal. So let's open up the WES terminal. And I will type in uh, sudo void installer or void install. sudo void dash install. Okay, that command I found, maybe it was installer. And that was it, so sudo void installer. Welcome to the Void Linux installation, a simple and minimal Linux distribution made from scratch and built from the source package tree, available for XBPS, a new alternative binary package system. The installation should be pretty straightforward. If you are in trouble, please join us at Void Linux on irclibera.chat. Click on OK. All right, keyboard. Let's see, is US available? There it is, US. Network. Network is working properly. That's because I am on a virtual machine. So if you were on a bare metal, uh, you would have to figure out how to get your, I guess your best bet would be a direct plug-in because you would have to figure out your Wi-Fi connection. All right, source. I'm going to use local, which is from the ISO itself. It does have a base system only but I want to use the local. All right, mirror. It's asking us to uh, find the best mirror closest to us. So I will go with uh, North America. And that works for me. Click yes to continue. All right, successfully changed. Now host name. What do I want the host name to be? Well, we'll just do void. Locale should be ENUS, but oh, there's the English ENUS UTF 8. Time zone. Go with uh, America. And look for Los Angeles. All right. Give it a strong and complicated root password. Repeat it. Create a user account. We're going to call this user account test. And it's going to be test again also. That's my display name. And now I'll give it a complicated password for your uh, user account. All right, I'm just going to leave this as default. Bootloader, I'm going to leave it as default. Partition, okay, we're going to use CF disk. And let's see.
file system. Make it a ext4. All right, and then install. All right, so from here now, it is installing. So I'll go ahead and I'll pause the video. When we come back, we'll take a look at uh, Agarim OS. Okay, we got a message that says, Void Linux has been installed successfully. Do you want to reboot the system? Yes. Okay, I'm prompted to give my password so I can log in. And here we are. We are on uh, Void Linux successfully installed so uh you can see right here that the uh desktop resolution is not correct so uh let's go ahead and try to fix that uh preferences go to display and let's get this set up to a 1920 by 1080. click on apply keep this configuration and close. All right, so now we have a uh, more natural uh, system display. All right, this is uh, Void Linux. I did say I use the uh, Mate desktop environment, so it's a standard uh, layout with the panel on the bottom and no icons on the desktop. Our system tray is on the right. We do have a time. Clicking on it opens up a calendar. Uh, we have our internet connection. We have a volume rocker. Pretty straightforward. And then uh, all the way on the left, we have a uh, pinned application. So let's see, we have uh, Pluma, which is a uh, text editor, Firefox, Caja, which is a uh, file browser, West Term, Terminal Emulator, Octo XBPS, Add or Remove Software, and Mate Tweak. And then we have our uh, control center. The control center is basically the system settings. And then of course we do have our uh, application launcher or application menu. So right here you can see these are our applications right here. And there's a button right here that says all applications. And then you have all, which lists everything in uh, alphabetical order. Then we have accessories, collection, graphics, internet, office, sound and video, system tools, administration and preferences so just by looking at sound and video you see that uh you don't you don't have any type of a media player at all on the graphics you don't have any type of image viewer and luckily enough we do have a web browser and under office we don't have any office software so if you wanted to uh find any of this stuff you would have to install it yourself so let's open up let's see uh octo xbps which is supposed to be the uh, their package manager, and let's see right here uh, makes every, the way that the way it's themed out right now makes everything hard to read. So let's try to let's try to set up something else real quick. So let's see, look and feel. Uh, where's appearance? Right there. All right, make it a little bit more. Uh, user friendly or something that we could see basically that's being recorded i don't really like light themes but uh i might have to choose one let me try this one real quick uh let me close this let me close this it really didn't change nothing here so let me close it and reopen it yeah it looks like it's still the same so let me try another uh another appearance theme let's go with a more lighter one Okay, let's see if that changes anything. And it doesn't. So we're pretty much stuck with what you can see with whatever you can see. Uh hopefully you can see it. If not, then uh it's a bummer. It's just the way this is themed out that it makes it hard. I mean if, if you're over it or if you select it, you know, it makes it white so you can see it. But anyways, let's search. Let's say uh VLC for a media player. And it is right here. So I'll right click it, click on install, click the check mark. Uh, yes, give it your password. All right, and it's downloading right now and it should be installing.
okay, it looks like that installed uh, successfully. Now let's look for uh, GIMP and right click on it, install, hit the check mark, select yes, enter your password. So I'm gonna install VLC because that plays both audio and video. GIMP, of course, is a you know edit image image editor, and you can view images also. And let's do LibreOffice. All right, select it for install. Check, yes. Give it your password. LibreOffice is a bigger uh, package, so it might take just a little bit longer, but it shouldn't be long at all. Should be quick. Anyways, while that's installing, I can look at these uh, pinned applications. So, like I said, we have a uh, Pluma. Pluma is basically a text editor. So, you know, you want to edit some text. It's my preferred text editor that I like to use. And let's see, close without saving, of course. Now, next to that, of course, we do have a uh, Firefox. Firefox is going to be your web browser. So, you know, go on here. Let's search for uh, Void Linux. I should have typed in for Agarim since we are an Agarim OS. Let's see if it finds. So it just finds the same uh, SourceForge page that we looked at earlier. I don't think that they have an official website, so it's just a SourceForge page. But anyways, this is Firefox. Let's see what version it uses. Okay, what happened? Something happened. Let me make it smaller. Okay, well, that's failing right now. Anyways, uh, moving on, we have Caja, which is our uh, file manager. So, you know, every system has a preferred file manager. This is Caja. You can see we have desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, templates, and videos. And of course, to see the hidden files, Control H. And to hide them again, Control H. Let's see if the about works on here. And we do have Caja 1.28.0. Okay, it looks like uh, LibreOffice has finished installing, so I'll go ahead and close this. But before I do, let's look at the help or the about. Okay, so you can see right here that the about is showing the same theme that this uh, that the thing is showing right here, but it is version 0.4.1. QT 6.8.2. All right, let's go ahead and close this down. And of course we have West term and West term automatically opens up the uh, H top or fast fetch or something like that. Let's see, can we make it bigger? We can. And you can see right here it is uh, Void Linux and it is using the kernel 6.12. Uh, it shows uh, 1029 packages installed. And of course, everything else is pretty much uh, relevant to whatever system it's installed on. Uh, let's see. Uh, does it show any RAM usage? It, oh, yeah, right here. 893, so almost a gigabyte. So it's not bad at all. And this is a uh, West term. And of course, we just saw the uh, Octo XBPS, which was the uh, installer. And then we have Mate Tweak. So Mate Tweak. From right here, we can actually show desktop icons. As you can see, they just appeared right here, or you could turn them off. And it also has some tweaks for the panel, so you can show applications, not show applications. I don't see nothing really happening, but uh, then you have a window manager. So, you know, you would play with this and figure out what it all does. And then, of course, we have our control center, which is our system settings. Every system has a control center or system settings, you know, KDE, GNOME. XFCE, they all have it. And from right here, basically you control your whole system. You know, you got all your, your your main system settings like displays, mouse, you know, Bluetooth adapters, sound. And you also have your theme in right here so you can uh, tweak your theme in. And then you also have some personal so you can add an about me, file management, or even startup applications. So this is the uh, control setum, control center system settings. And of course we do have the application menu, which we already looked at. So all in all, it is pretty straight up, uh, you know, it is a uh, straightforward. So now that we installed uh, more uh, stuff, so now under graphics, I'm still not seeing GIMP, we installed GIMP. 
But under office, I can see the entire office suite. And under sound and video, I don't see VLC. So I'm wondering if maybe we need to do a uh, a reboot. So let's try that real quick. Okay, I rebooted the system, and you can see that the display is fixed automatically. So now let's go back to all applications, look under graphics, and there you go. Now we have GIMP. GIMP is on here. It didn't show up before, so after the reboot, it showed up. So uh, it is working, no problems. And there you have it. And let's take a look at the about. GIMP 3.0.4. All right, what else did we install? We installed VLC, so under sound and video, there it is. We have VLC now. So if you want to play audio or video, you can use VLC. And under the about, it is 3.0.21. And last but not least, of course, we did uh, download uh, Office. So you have the whole Office suite right here. So, you know, Calc would be your uh, Excel, things like that, you know. So, yeah, this would be your spreadsheet. And I can go ahead and close this. And under the About, it is uh, version 25.8.2.2, LibreOffice Community. Okay, so... The installer works. Everything pretty works. Uh, it feels real snappy. Everything is uh, working well. So, yeah, all in all, this is a very good system, I would say. Uh, the installer is a little weird, uh, but, you know, it, it's pretty straightforward. If, if you've been using uh, Linux for a while, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, obvious commands, you know, EN for English, US for United States, whatever your country is, then, you know, you would type in the correct uh country codes and set it all up and it's, it's not hard at all but you know for some for for a new user they would uh they would break their neck trying to install it but if you've been on linux for at least a year or more then uh it would be pretty straightforward for you all right uh all in all good system highly recommendable so uh that's gonna do it for this video uh if you're new to the channel please uh go ahead and uh, subscribe if you like the video you just saw, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, by all means, give it a thumbs down. And that's going to do it for this one. And I'm out.